their soul, probably. <laughs> I felt like sweating just thinking about all of that. Vamos, Marquis. Welcome to this special episode of Life on Tour presented by HSBC. I'm your host, Nolly Waterman, and we are here in one of the best cities, Hong Kong, and I'm joined by two stars from our game, Marcus Moneta and Kalim Barreto. There was a certain person that, that debuted from 15s, was part <laughs> of the French side, um, Dupont. We've now got Hooper coming for the first time yes. this tournament from yep. Australia. How cool is it as a rugby player to have those types of players come over and perform? Yeah, it's pretty special. It's exciting. And <clears throat> I think that is that uh, shows or reflects how Seven is growing. Uh, maybe also because of the Olympics, but it's growing and it's uh, every year is more competitive and, and and a better sport and more entertainment. And personally, I would love to share, I didn't share the pitch yet with uh, Dupont or Hooper. <laughs> I would love to, to share the pitch. Uh, to, to battle not with Wouldn't Hooper. To <laughs> I was gonna say, you wanna go into a breakdown? No, 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 maybe no, with, no. The, with the ball. No, no. Maybe with Dupont, but... but I don't but, know, he's but, a pocket rocket. No, 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 <laughs> neither with Dupont. But no, it would be, a, it would be exciting uh, because <laughs> Uh, as a young, as a young kid, uh, Hooper, uh, I saw him playing with Argentina, the Four Nations, and the World Cup. Uh, now Dupont is, for me, is the best player on the on the planet. Uh, <laughs> so it would be amazing to to share the pitch with both of them. What was it like? Um, I had had that question a lot. To be fair, there was a there was a picture going around social media of us of me apparently saying something to him, and there was a lot of responses trying to see what I said. But um, were you? Were you giving him a bit of stick? Uh, we leave that secret. <laughs> us. Um, no one knows. This is just between the three of us. It's just between us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it is special. And he said it, he is like those names and stars coming in does yeah. transcend the sport, but. Sharing a field of them is unique because in the moment you're you're focused on the game, but then I guess in like reflection you're like, well. I didn't think before the start of the season that I'd be standing side by side with Dupont and um, trying to wreak havoc with him at a scrum or something. So it's it, like I said, it's, it's a player on the pitch, but then I guess in yeah. reflection, it's it's a cool thing to take off the list. Now it's time for the HSBC special segment, Who Makes Your Network? And how have they helped you at a pivotal time in your life or career? It should probably just be my family and my partner. Messaging or calling back home and mum telling me I'm the best player ever every time, no matter what the result <laughs> or what's happened. They're not the biggest fans of rugby, they don't necessarily watch, but they're just checking how I am as a human. So um, definitely keeps me grounded and, and provides a good, fresh perspective. Uh, I think that the same, my family and friends, uh, especially my dad, when I was a young kid, he take me to every match. I have a phrase that my dad tells me, it's vamos, Marquis. Marcos is my name, Marquis is the... the like, your version of saying yeah, it, or your... Like it's, the Argentinian. Yeah. Vamos, Marquis, and I try to repeat that. So there's loads of amazing stops on the HBC 7s, but what has been a pinch me moment for you, Kelly? On the pitch, off the pitch? <sighs> pinch me moment. I'd say it's similar to earlier, like as well as much or as exciting the, the stuff on the pitch is, but the, the parts where I, I get those pinch me moments are probably off the pitch, like going around and seeing seeing the places so like Cape Town. We spent like a few hours up at Table Mountain and just watching the sunset go down. And and like those are the moments where you're, you're standing next to, to mates and, and friends and the players you play alongside and you're like, I actually kind of get paid to do this, like no matter how much it is. Not as romantic as being with your partner. Uh, but well, the, the tough things, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep my phone down so she doesn't know or no one knows what's going on. But if that goes home, then you get in trouble. Um, but uh, yeah, like, those are the ones, those are the moments like I savor. And um, I get the same every time I'm in a tunnel, but like those, those little moments where you're just like, you just stop and check yourself. And you're like, geez, I'm actually kind of doing this and, and getting to travel the world. And, and all it is, is those are the ones that are special. For you? Marcus. I think that uh, similar to to Callum, uh, that the moments when you're with with your teammates, uh, it happened to me in Australia in Perth. All of what is summer, sun, beach, <laughs> sea, I love it. And I was with uh, with Rodrigo on the sea. The, it was the sunset. We were the, both alone, uh, and it was like a moment where we were just arrived, and we also have like that similar chat where you can't believe where you are uh, and yeah. what what you're about to do or what how fortunate you are to 100%. being there representing your country doing the, the thing that 
that you love in the place where you are, where you have the <laughs> sunset right in front of you in the sea. The sea was warm. It was all perfect. So that is a special moment. We're uh, lucky enough to go all around the world with the HSBC 7s, as you guys know, as you guys get to do. Yeah. Um, next stop is Singapore. What's it like playing in that stadium and being there? Nice and cool compared to the yeah. sessions outside, I can tell you that. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, really? Oh, the first session in Singapore is usually a, a, a tough one. Shock to the system. Uh, yeah, it's memorable for sure. Um, especially probably more so for, Heat, for us. Heat, humidity, yes. both of the above. Well, we're training back home like right now in like four or five degrees and, and probably not the same for <laughs> no. you, but... Uh, we're in the summer. Uh, it definitely hits you hard. And what about the crowd over there um, and how much energy that they bring into that type of stadium? No, it's a really, it's a really good crowd and really good stadium. I love playing there because I not, not not now, but usually you go Hong Kong, Singapore, and in Hong Kong you feel the heat, you feel the humidity, <laughs> and in Singapore it's it's chiller because the stadium, as Callum said. So I love playing there. the The field is always on point, and it's a really good stadium. Yeah. Thanks for watching Life on Tour presented by HSBC. Full episodes are available on Rugby Pass TV. I'm